So hello students and I am back. I am Salim Khan, student fifth standard and today we have elasticity for JEE main and advanced. Actually this topic elasticity I have taken from mechanics that is from understanding physics series by DC Pandey. So we will try to today cover very little okay of elasticity because we know it is very long chapter so we will cover very little. So some things basic things first we will cover about what is elasticity later introduction to elasticity, stress and strain and Hooke's law we can cover later modulus of elasticity. So first let us start from basic. So what is elasticity? First introduction to elasticity. So what is elasticity? This we need to know. Okay. So what is elasticity? Let me tell you just like first let me define it by an example. Just like if we have any such metal plate. Okay. We imagine we have any very thin metal plate. Okay, later any external force F. Okay, any external force F external just like imagine acts on the metal plate. Okay, in this direction. Okay, at this at this place. Okay, imagine for here at this place it is acting. Okay, and imagine in cross sectional area of this metal plate is A. Okay, is cross sectional area of this metal plate and F external is acting over the metal plate. Now here what we can see that actually first if it is uh, it is act acting in this direction. So what we can say it is very thin metal plate. So it will start okay it will start moving like just like a pendulum how a pendulum moves okay. So in harmonic motion simple harmonic motion. So after some time what we can see that the position of metal plate will be such okay here is cross sectional area later after some time we can see that it will be such okay of course it will be such here is again cross sectional area because f external has acted over it because actually it is very thin metal plate so here we can see that it will start moving okay it will of course start moving just like how a simple pendulum moves so after this but even if forever it will not move remember it will never move forever after some time it will come again back to its original position and this tendency okay this property of this material is called elasticity simply we can define elasticity okay it is a tendency that any substance has to apply okay to oppose any change in its position or length or any part such as volume okay to oppose those changes or to come back to its real position or length we can say those things okay so we have defined elasticity now in this chapter so much done now let me tell you that just like just like we have many other points in this such as stress and strain so first let us discuss stress so okay first stress so what is stress okay now question that asks what is stress so let me tell you just like if we have okay just like first let me tell you that it is denoted by letter sigma first let me tell you this okay it is denoted by the letter sigma now here what we can see imagine ju just like we can imagine the same metal plate okay same metal plate we can imagine now imagine on the same metal plate f external is acting in this direction okay imagine in this direction f external is acting on this metal plate now imagine cross sectional area of this metal plate is a then then after that when f external has acted so and during okay during its motion after some time due to its elasticity another force acts and that is restoring force to bring its real position okay so any okay so here later restoring force or f r will act on this metal plate so sigma we can define as sigma is ratio this restoring force okay this restoring force divided by the cross sectional area okay so sigma is the ratio of restoring force divided by cross sectional area or fr divided by a because here okay let me tell you that fr we don't have to put the value of x f external not external force which is acting on the metal plate we have to put the value of restoring force that is acting on the plate and not total area only the cross sectional area or only that area on which the re restoring force okay acts only that area means we can define as cross sectional area so sigma is the ratio of fr by a or we can call sigma as a stress so simply we can say that stress is the ratio of restoring force divided by the cross sectional area of the object 
this we have stress now another point we have that is known as strain okay now question it as what is a strain just like same we have just like imagine okay just like we can imagine a different case when we have any spring okay when we have any spring just like we have seen or we all are familiar with a spring so when we just like if we have any spring okay if we have any spring then then just like imagine from here any external force acts on a spring and from here also any external force of same magnitude imagine or different magnitude it may be also acts on the spring then what we can see okay here it is acting here it is act acting so due to its this direction the spring will be compressed we can say that the spring length will be shorter so when its length will get shorter so we can call that the spring is in strain okay we can call this strain because whenever the length okay mass or volume whenever those things are increased or decreased in any object so we can call that the object is an strain now strain is generally denoted by the letter epsilon which whose magnitude we can call as just like we can say delta l by l or we can say delta v by v okay those things we can call or we can also call it just like delta rho by rho okay where uh, here rho is known as density okay this is density so it is and uh, this is all values of epsilon where just like whenever there is a change in length so this formula we can use change in volume this formula we can use or change in density this formula we can use so this is epsilon means strain so just like any time length is increased or decreased volume is increased or decreased density is increased or decreased so we can call that the object is an strain so this we have covered those points now let us come to hooke's law okay now we'll try to understand hooke's law now question arises what is hooke's law this we have question then what is hooke's law let me tell you that according to hooke's law this law is a okay it's very special law in physics which states that stress is directly proportional to the strain okay means stress and strain are directly proportional to the each other okay this we have hooke's law states this now if we try to create a formula using the given data this data so stress equals to remember e times strain okay e times strain we can call but why e times strain okay because when we'll go in our next classes so we can learn its derivatives there's mathematical formulations of hooke's law but at this time what first question arises what is this e okay what is this e what is its value its formula so let me tell you that this e is known as modulus of elasticity and before that let me tell you that actually this equation is known as hooke's law stress equals to e times strain so now what is this modulus of elasticity we have okay so for finding what is modulus of elasticity we can understand it by any equation so by for by forming the equation of e we can understand what is e so for forming an equation for e means modulus of elasticity we can try to send this strain to the this side so what we can write that stress divided by strain stress divided by strain equals to e but why it is such because when we'll send this strain here so it was in multiplication with e as it will come with stress so it will come in division so stress by strain equals to e implies that e equals to stress divided by strain this we have our final equation so e equals to stress by strain so by this finally we are getting the value of the magnitude of e and finally we are getting that what is e modulus what is modulus of elasticity means the ratio of stress to the strain is modulus of elasticity so we can call that stress divided by strain is itself modulus of elasticity so this was my today's topic if you haven't subscribed this channel so please subscribe this channel thank you